Hi, it's Coach Maggie here, and I want to talk to you today about something that where I've been really working hard, and that's tackling those big tasks. Um, just today, I tackled one, and I'm so proud of myself. I have a room, actually it was my son's room when he still lived at home, before he went to college, and it's sort of become the junk room. And we have a futon in there, and that's where my sewing machine, and I've got a bunch of other things. But unfortunately, it's also a place where we can clutter. And so, uh, we're just beyond the holidays. I had boxes of Christmas wrap, and the plastic bags, my tote bags for going grocery shopping, just a bunch of stuff. And it's the room just before you go out the door to go into our garage. So it was an easy spot to find yourself just putting things there. And typically, I'm ashamed to say, it's easy to just walk by and just not see it. And so today, as I was thinking about this, I thought, today's the day, Maggie, just get in there. But I realized something, that I have a problem that I think a lot of other people do. And sometimes, the project is so big, we have a hard time seeing it in smaller sections. And if it's too overwhelming, it's just easier to shut our eyes. And so I went in today and I thought, let me break it down and see if I can just tackle one thing at a time. That might be the better way. So I went in with my trusty little uh, planner and I took a sticky note and I started jotting down things. And I stood there first before I did anything. And right in the middle, I saw my husband's golf clubs. And I thought, okay, it's obvious those don't belong here. He also had his golf cart that he pushes his clubs on, and it was folded up neatly, but it was there. And what I find is once a room has objects in it that don't belong, it makes it easier for everyone else to just deposit their things. And so as I looked, I noticed there was the toolbox. And my husband and I had put up some blinds just a couple weeks before. And again, they didn't belong there, but it was an easy spot. There was also some more wrapping paper. There was a box of some things that just really needed to be put away. And so I took notes and I wrote down. And I realized, actually, this isn't as bad as it looks. So I ran and got my little timer. And I thought, let me see if I can make a little bit of a game of this. So I went ahead and I just pushed it and I worked as fast as I could. And believe it or not, in 10 minutes, I'd taken those golf clubs and I had run them upstairs where they belong because it's winter. And then I ran back down and I grabbed the cart, the carrier, and that was a little awkward, but I took it upstairs too. And then I came down and I got the toolbox. That goes in a closet underneath the stairs. So I moved it there. There was also uh, the drill in its case, because we'd used it to do those blinds. So I moved it too. And I seemed to almost get momentum the more I took one thing, I could start to see the area rug in that room. And that just really spurred me on. And then I grabbed the wrapping paper and I packaged it up neatly and I put it in the closet, which was right there. I took a few things out to my car in the garage and pretty soon there was that beautiful area rug. And I realized that's why we don't tackle more things. We do just like I did. Every day I'd walk by that room and I just ignored it. And I just thought I'll deal with that when I've got a whole day to do it. Well, how often are we gonna have a whole day? But when I jotted down and I just wrote those few things, it just sort of helped me. And would you believe it only took 10 minutes? Now, mind you, I was out of breath, but that's okay. I feel like I got my exercise. But I got rid of those golf clubs. I got rid of some things, put them in the closet. I moved some things out to the garage that needed to go there anyway. So if you have a task, maybe it's overwhelming to you right now. I want you to do that. I want you to walk into that room stare in there and see what needs to be done. You're not gonna get it all done and that's okay. Maybe take a timer in there, but decide on a few things 
and maybe just say, okay, I've got 15 minutes. Take 15 minutes to work as hard as you can in that room. Try to stay in one area because then you'll see the difference. Just You'll notice, boy, it looks great. And then maybe the next day or when you have 15 more minutes, you'll be amazed at the difference we can make. And staying on top of those things that we let get out of hand because we just don't want to do it. So next time you find yourself with that task that seems so insurmountable, think of it in sections of 5, 10, 15 minutes. Tackle it because you can do it. Until next time, this is Coach Maggie.